Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Tips and Tutorials, episode 2. I just wanted to show you guys the puck mount. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions on this guy, so I just wanted to break it down for you and show you how you can make one yourself. So what I'm sure a bunch of you have done is try to recreate the, the puck perspective mount. What you usually do is you'll throw, or at least what I did is I threw a adhesive on the puck, I stuck the GoPro on the puck, I tested it out, and unfortunately, you're not able to get the puck perspective you're mostly just seeing the GoPro slide across the ice and you're not really capturing any of the puck. So in order to do that, what I did is I offset the GoPro from the puck. The easiest way to, to create that offset was just to fasten another puck to it. So what I did is I screwed these pucks together, which is actually pretty simple. I have a quarter 20 threaded rod in here. You'll be able to see it when I break it down. So there's this. Well, I won't be able to unscrew this end, but let me give you a closer look here. So that is a quarter 20 threaded rod. I screwed it down into this puck. And then what I did is I made a hole and tapped it quarter 20. So this screws into it. Pretty simple. All I had to do was take a drill and drill the right bit size and then take a tap and create that thread in the second puck. So both these pucks are drilled and threaded, drilled and threaded, and then that threaded rod goes into one, and then you just screw the other one into it. Just like that. The next part of the build required fastening the GoPro camera onto the second puck. All I did there was I drilled two holes one on each side here. I then used the actual mount as a guide and I drilled those same two holes down into the puck. I didn't go all the way through but I went a pretty good ways and then I tapped those two holes in the puck to 440 thread and that's what these screws are, they're 440. And that allowed me to when I put the mount on, I screw these guys in and it tightened it right up to the puck. So really, all this mount was, it's pretty easy, is just drilling a hole into this guy, a hole into this guy, tapping each quarter 20. You don't have to use quarter 20, but it just happens to be a pretty common thread and a pretty common size. Get a threaded quarter 20 or whatever thread size you use rod, screw it into one, bring the pucks together, and then you could either drill and tap like I did here to, to fasten this guy down, or you could even glue it. The ways of fastening it together are you can sort of be creative with, but that's how I did it, and it turned out pretty well. So if you guys want to try to get that puck perspective, feel free to, to use this design and definitely show me how it comes out. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on it, definitely comment below and I'll, I'll try to answer as many as I can and let me know what you guys want to see next and feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to be posting more soon so again hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks